Hey everybody, Jared Duckett, Duckett Lad Dental CPAs and Advisors here with Paula Wall, dental consultant at the firm. Paula, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Jared? I am doing good. I was uh, I was talking to the client this morning on uh, ERTC, so the Employee Retention Tax Credit, and when I was talking to them, something hit my mind that I thought, man, let's shoot a quick video and get this out to to everybody out there so they can kind of kind of see exactly what we were talking about. But first off, what I want to do is just First off, if you haven't heard about the employee retention tax credit, go watch our other videos because there's, goodness gracious, Paula, this is like one of the most detailed credits ever, right? Oh, absolutely. It's It just keeps coming as far as content and, and questions. It's the credit that keeps on giving. Um, <laughs> but yes, it's, there's a lot to this credit. But what we want to talk about really is, and that's what we work with our clients on now, is the first quarter 2021 ERTC. You know, first quarter is all the way over. Um, and most people, I guess, I'll say, think you can qualify for first quarter 2021 ERTC based on two ways. And so, Paul, I'm going to just throw it to you real quick. Go over those two ways, and then we can talk about this additional way to qualify that we'll, we'll speak of. Um, yeah, so basically the two criteria for qualifying are either you were subject to a government-mandated shutdown, which may not have been as common in first quarter 2021 as it was for several quarters in 2020 for most people. And then the other way is the revenue reduction test, which uh, the percentage for uh, 2021 first quarter was making less than 80% of the comparable quarter in 2019. So you would can compare first quarter 2021 to first quarter 2019 would be the way yeah. most people would assume to do that. Yeah, spot on. So like you said, and again, we're speaking to dental offices here to a degree, but most dental offices are, are not fully or partially shut down anymore. Um, so most people think you can just qualify based on that gross receipts reduction for the 2021 quarter, first quarter look back to 2019. But there is another quarter reduction test you can look at. Is that right, Paula? That's right. They um, added another uh, comparison period. You can compare the previous calendar quarter to the same quarter in 2019. So if you're looking at first quarter 2021, you would compare fourth quarter 2020 to fourth quarter 2019. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to run this back, make sure I understand. So the test, if, I, if I'm a dental office out there, I'm thinking, do I qualify for first quarter? I'm going to say, first off, am I fully or partially shut down? Let's say that's no. Go to the second test, gross receipts reduction, compare first quarter 2021 to first quarter 2019, correct? Correct. And if your receipts, gross receipts have dipped by, I'm going to say 20% or more, and if the answer right. is no, then you can look at this third test, which is exactly the previous quarter. So fourth quarter 2020 to for fourth quarter 2019. You've Perfect. got it. And I hope you guys wrote all that down or just rewind the video <laughs> and look at it again. But that, that's what I was talking to a client this morning on is, is that that third test could happen, if that makes sense. A lot of people don't think about that. And it's it's it, it's out there. It's And it kind of goes into... And I won't really get ahead of myself, but really same rules to a degree for second quarter 2021. You'd go through the same checklist, if you will, and then you, your, your look back could also be the previous quarter, right? Exactly. So you'd look at first quarter 21 versus first quarter 19. Yeah. Anyway, just thought we'd, we'd you know, kind of get that out there. I guess moral of the story, ERTC, the credit that keeps on giving, ERTC, you haven't heard about it, watch our other videos to hear about it. Go to a qualified, you know, CPA, whomever, to see if you qualify, because there's a lot of ways you can probably qualify. And again, like I say all the time, people on our team, like Apollo Wall, know this in and out. It's extremely complex. Um, but again, just uh, shoot a quick video to kind of show that. I'll call it an additional way to qualify for ERTC for 2021. That's the key year, 2021 not 2020. Um, all right, Paula, appreciate you as always. Um, we'll talk to you guys out there soon. We'll see you.